In today's video, I'm going to walk you through how to flash a nerd miner device. Now, if your device looks like this screen, or you want it to look like this, this is a different firmware. This is NM Miner. And I also have a video on how to flash this, and I'll link that below. However, today we're going to focus on Nerd Miner. The only things that you really need are a USB cord, you need a PC, and you need the Chrome browser. Uh, obviously, I didn't mention it, but you do need your device. It doesn't matter whether you have NM Miner on it already, or Nerd Miner, or it's a blank device. This tutorial works for whatever state your device is in. You want to make sure that you have a high quality USB cable. Um, you might want to test it with your phone, make sure you can move photos back and forth. Sometimes these cables are power only and they don't allow the proper transfer of data. So just make sure you're using a good cable. If you're looking for nerd miners or NM miners or accessories, they're all available in the minermanusa.com store. Um, so if you go to plug your device in and you don't hear this noise, that means you may need a USB driver in order to make this all work. And again, I'll link to that below. We have our PC, we have our USB cable plugged in, and we have our device. Now, obviously, Nerd Miner's on here already. It doesn't matter, so just ignore that for the time being. But we're going to unplug this. We're going to go to our computer, and we're going to go to Chrome. We're going to open the Chrome browser. And when we're in Chrome, what we're going to do is we're going to Google search for the Bitronics Web Flasher. Now, Bitronics offers this for free. Uh, great tool. This is what it's going to look like when you land here. You're going to select your device. Obviously, we're working with Nerd Miner. Now, board versions can get confusing for some people. These devices that I sell um, that look like this, these are the ESP32 243 2S028R. That's what these are. If you have a device and it happens to have two USB ports on it, that's going to be this option up here that ends with two USB. A lot of these, just ignore these. Um, there's lots of devices that support this firmware, but for most of you, if your device looks similar to this, it's gonna be one of these top three options here. So I'm going to select the 2.8R variation, which I know is the proper one for this board. And then we're gonna select the firmware version. There really isn't, unless you're testing something, there really isn't any reason to install old firmware. Select the newest one. Um, once we have those selected, now is the time to take your device and plug it in. And what should happen, the first confirmation that we're going the right way here is that when I plug this in, the computer's going to make a noise that it detects it. Okay, so it was detected. So even if the screen comes up or nothing comes up, we're going to go to connect. And on here you can see that there is a selection for a USB serial on COM3. Your computer might say COM4 or COM1, that doesn't matter. What we wanna see is that when we plug this device in and out, that it pops up. That's how we know we have the proper device. You click on it and then hit connect. Now, everything is connected here. All we need to do is hit start flashing. And if this works correctly, you're gonna see this device turn off. It's gonna reboot and it's gonna go into its flashing mode. This is going to take three to five minutes. What I suggest you do is not what I'm doing here. Don't hold it. We're gonna put it in its stand and we're going to just let it run the process. Because when you're playing with this USB cord, you have the potential to run into issues. Just let it sit and let it do its thing. So from here, we're gonna hit start flashing, device turned off, and you can see there's a progress bar here, flashing 2% complete. So now all we need to do is wait for that to finish up. Again, don't touch it through this process. I suggest that you just don't do anything on your computer that could potentially stop this. Don't close the window, don't do whatever.
Now, if you see, just said flash and complete, and the device just rebooted. So everything is done here. I suggest that before you pull any cords, you hit disconnect. And now this device is just running on its own on power. There's no data transfer going on. Because we just flashed this with NerdMiner with a fresh version, what should happen is we can go down to the Wi-Fi menu here, and we should see the NerdMiner access point, which is exactly what we do, NerdMiner AP. So if we connect to that, that is now the next step of the process. If you couldn't get here and your device does not look like this, leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to answer every question that you leave. Listen, a lot of questions come in. I can't always get to everything, but I do try to get to questions quickly. Mm -hmm.